Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of the original orcs. This time, the Gretchen. Last time was surprising, this time, it will be life changing. Gretchen are a smaller breed of orc, but are otherwise very similar. They share the same general skin tones, physical characteristics, and psychological traits as their larger cousins. It is likely that the two races evolved on a common world from the same distant ancestor. <clears throat> Take a moment to ponder the ramifications of that. And, here's the best part, they can interbreed to produce intermediate types. Gretchen, here we go again, vary in height from one to two meters tall, but most are around 1.7 meters tall. That means Gretchen are the height of an average human, originally. They are thin and wiry, agile and quite athletic, but not particularly strong or resilient. They are also cruel and sadistic, perhaps even more so than their larger relatives. They have no respect for life and enjoy torturing, maiming, and slaying and eating their captives. Although cannibalistic, they will eat any meat but relish the taste of human flesh above all others. Let's, let's just take a minute to look at that paragraph. I especially like where it says here, the two races evolved on a common world and they can interbreed to produce intermediate types. Gretchen and orcs were two completely distinct species in Rogue Trader. And on top of that, interbreed. What does that mean? It means orcs have sex. Yeah. That means genders. That means male, female orcs. Now, if I can remember when I first started playing the game, the way people described this was basically um, oh yeah, I remember. They described it the same way they described uh, female dwarves. Uh, why did we ever never see female dwarves in D&D &D or other things at that time? And the, basically the answer was, you can't really tell them apart. Huh? Yeah, basically, male and female orcs, how the fuck would we know? They both look the same to us. The, 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 I remember we, we were talking about at the time that... Male and female dwarves couldn't really be told apart because they both have beards. <laughs> now that has changed, but that's what it was originally. It, it gets better. Gretchen live almost entirely within orc domains, frequently as slaves, workers, vassals, and other underlings of some kind. In any case, they form the lowest rank of orcish society. Orcs use Gretchen with the same readiness with which a human might use a draft animal. With the added bonus that Gretchen make quite passable warriors, if lashed often enough. Every orc warlord recruits warriors from amongst his Gretchen workforce. Although they are regarded as untrustworthy and expendable. There are a number, and pay attention to this, this is really cool. There are a number of Gretchen worlds. And even small empires actually controlled by the Gretchen. And these ape the empires of the orcs in almost every respect. Like orcs, Gretchen are extremely quarrelsome and will rarely cooperate with others of their kind. You got it? Gretchen, orcs, separate. They even had their own empires of just Gretchen, ruled over by just a Gretchen warlord. That 
is the original orc races, the original greenskins of 40k. So next time somebody wants to quote canon to you, always ask them this question. What edition? Until next time, bye!